potato cat welcome to my channel today we are playing path taken previously uh, we learned a little more about our rival Catherine and um, and we went to a fair and now we're talking about politics apparently we are on the verge of war and that is where we left off all right let's continue our army is always ready in case of war I know Marco but if we can avoid war altogether, it would be better. Perhaps we could do what we came here to do and enjoy the festival. Besides, Nicia is not as familiar with politics as any of us, and it wouldn't do to leave her out. Oh, I, uh, let's go to the food stop then. Yes, thank you, Catherine. Well, that was certainly fun. It's been months since I've seen Cordelian so happy. I hope everyone else had fun. There's not too many more days until the wedding the wedding my best friend is getting married i'm way too young to start going to friends weddings i need to lie down the wedding feels so close now it almost feels like I'm running out of time, yet I'm not the one getting married. He may act nonchalant about it, but I know Cordelian is nervous too. Maybe I should go see him today? Of course, I could go see Catherine before she goes home for a while. Ah, so she will stop interrupting us then? That would be nice. Cordelian. The maid said he was around here somewhere. Is, is this a parlor of some sort? There's only a few more days before the wedding. I want to speak to him any bit I can before he he's taken away by marriage and the crown but still where is he is that no is that no I must be imagining things why would see they're doing this thing again No, must be imagining things. Why would there be? Ah. Uh. Okay, let's try again. Because it gives you like two seconds when it actually finishes typing out. Why would there be someone? Sleeping. Cordelian? What? I'm here. Why were you... Was I what? Flipping around... Fli flipping through papers? Of course I was. So, uh... What might be the reason you're... 
eavesdropping today. I was just coming to, to, uh, wow. But now that I'm here, it's hard for the words to come out of my mouth. I feel like this might be the last time the two of us are ever able to have a decent, meaningful conversation together. There's so much I want to say. Cordelia and I wish you well. Thank you. You know what? We'll wish him luck. I mean, it worked uh, for Ace Academy. <laughs> I wish you well. With the marriage, with the ruling, with whatever you decide to do from here. I hope it's all wonderful. Emery, thank you. Thank you for sticking by my side. I hope everything goes well for you too. I really wish we had more time together. It feels like just yesterday I was worried more about lunch than schoolwork or time off. I think you're still worried about what's for lunch, among other things. Yes, you're right. Yes, you might be right. I don't have much time until my next meeting, and it looks like I uh, skipped my 11 o'clock one. Would you care to join me for a quick lunch? Yes, that would be nice. Only a few more days before the wedding. But it looks like preparations are about done. Things will be hectic afterwards. More so for Cordelian and Catherine than me. Nothing for me to worry about for now. Do you know when Cordelian might be... Do you know where Cordelian might be at? He's in a meeting right now. Down the hallway. Thank you. I'll go see him. A meeting, huh? Seems like he's been going to more of those as of late. Is it about... Leo... Pia's advance. Surely things get bad. We will be prepared. Surely father will come back from overseas before that. Ah, Emery. Good morning. Cordelian. Everything's not all right, is it? What was that about? Okay, he grabs me by the arm and pulls me into one of the unused rooms. I'll more like a storage room than the other one. No. I'm starting to doubt myself now. I tried to reassure him by resting a hand on his arm. I know whatever you've chosen was for the best because you chose it. Yes, but was it best for me, or was it best for my country? 
You're not a selfish person. You would pick your country any day over yourself. And that's what got me into this, isn't it? Thinking about the long-term future for my country rather than myself. What am I even doing? There's no backing out now. It's too close. T too close? Is... Is they army? <laughs> is their army going to be able to prepare in such a short time? The army? What does that have to do with the wet? Yes! The army! Of course. They're already at a moment's notice. They've been planning for months in case of an emergency. Our consul consuls and Defat have been sending back troubling news, but we'll be ready for anything. But don't worry. Our generals have an have in under control have it under control we'll be deploying more troops to the default borders that's comforting but let's get to a lighter subject it's almost lunch would you like to eat with me with Catherine and I? That sounds great. I thought the atmosphere was tense before, but it's almost as dreadful here. Catherine is sitting at the table, idly stirring her tea. Oh, Emery, are you going to eat with us? Yes. I thought I would invite him so it wouldn't be just the two of us. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, that's fine. I don't ever mind your company, Emery. I hope you like grilled duck or Roast beef. No. I love grilled duck. I love roast beef. I'll eat the sides. I don't know, they said grilled duck first, so I love grilled duck. Oh, I love grilled duck. And as long as Susanna is cooking it tonight, it'll come out wonderful. It does sound good. To be honest, I've never tried it before. But Cordelian keeps persisting I try it, so here we are. A group of beads come over to set the dishes down on the table. Despite it being just the three of us, they seem to have cooked enough for five or six people. We eat in relative silence. I'm not normally sensitive to silence, but today is just different. There's a feeling of unease in the air. The wedding is just a few days away. I thought they'd be more happy right now. Break the silence. Ta ta ta. Um. Break the silence. Nothing's gonna happen if we just dot dot dot. I can't stand this anymore. 
Catherine, how has your day been? All right. I suppose. I had to attend a few meetings in the morning, and then on my and then try on my dress for the thirtieth time. The tailors wanted to make sure it would fit perfectly without any stray strands. I'm sure the dress looks fine. Have you met with your tailor yet, Cordelian? For what? Uh oh! For the wedding! <laughs> yes, I've met with my tailor a few times. <laughs> he's forgetting that he's even supposed to get married. Oh my. Poor Catherine. At first I'm like, I must hate you, but I'm like, I'm starting to kind of feel bad for her. We have a light blue military suit planned. I'm sure the I'm sure they both look great. I need to talk to him. I need to talk to her. Why would we talk to her? We're going to talk to him. Cordelian, do you mind walking with me to the garden? Marco told me to meet him there in a few minutes. Probably something about the wedding plans. I suppose... I have to see what he's thinking. Cordelian, how are things? Things are as they always are, of course. Everything is fine. The meeting this morning rustled my nerves, but after lunch, I'm feeling much better. Are you? How are you actually doing? It doesn't look like he's doing great. I... I don't know anymore. I thought I could handle all of this. I thought I could manage... But I... I don't even know now. It's alright. We can... Talk this through together. Together? Emery, can we keep something secret between the two of us? Just the two of us. Do, 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 do. Okay. <laughs> of course. Anything. I just. Well, honesty. I... I don't think I can do this. The marriage. At first I thought that maybe I was just unqualified. That I couldn't be a good husband. The word scared me. I had the prospect of king show shoved at me for so long that I've grown numb to it. But a husband is something else entirely. How can I be a husband to someone when I'm barely 20? So then I thought that I just needed to try harder to fill those shoes. I tried to be more welcoming, more sociable, more thoughtful, but it didn't matter. It wasn't that she wasn't trying, she would always put on her most meek but gentle smile when I was around. It's that every time I saw her, I couldn't help but think of my parents aging together 
growing old together. I couldn't see myself growing old with her. No, it's not that I couldn't see that I didn't want to. I kept pushing it off in the corner of my mind. It's something I'll worry about later. I'll invite her over for dinner and we'll start to click more then. And now we're here. Cordelian. Cordelian. What do you want? What do I want? I don't even know that anymore. I want us to have a time of peace. The planning for going to war has been hammering at my nerves more than the wedding has had time to do. I don't want to get married. She's not the easiest to read, but I know if there were an easy way out of all this, she would take it. And I want to be able to live with whatever happens. To know I didn't just make a rash decision that'll determine everything else. Maybe we can figure out something that'll work. I've tried. You didn't have me helping. I put my hand on his side. On his. He sighs. Alright. Let's start from the top. Why is a marriage necessary? Tell me in your own words, your highness. The marriage, my father said, it would unite Sharon and Durshan against Leo, Leo Dipa. But why marriage? Can't you unite the two without it? We most likely could However, I'm starting to think it was two-folded. It was a two-folded answer. It's a sound way of unite to unite two kingdoms. Yes, but it's also an easy way to make sure I marry royalty. That's it. And you didn't try to argue with him. How could I? I tried to ask if it was really necessary, but he gave me the same answer every time. I couldn't be direct with him, lest he sends me, send me away and storm off. You have to confront him. This is the rest of your life we're talking about. I know, I know. I know you're scared of what he'll say, but you have to stand up for yourself. What good is a miserable king? You're right. I'll talk to him tonight. Now you're just putting it off. I call it giving myself time to mentally prepare myself. Still, it is a shame that all of this work on the wedding will go for waste. Um, <laughs> I am in front of you. <laughs> Who's to say it has to all go to waste? What if we hold a ball instead? 
It's cute you think it'd be that easy. Alright, let's see. Did I, did I do the wrong voice? Oh, okay, I did the wrong voice. Alright, let's see. I won't get married. He'll be ballistic for sure. I'll ask Catherine to be by my side to convince him. There's another way. Maybe the two of us can convince him that we don't need to be married to defend our countries. We'll cancel all the wedding plans and instead declare war on Leodipa. We were always going to have to declare war eventually. Maybe now we can give people something else to concentrate on rather than a faux wedding. As for the wedding venue itself, we can turn it into a dance, maybe. One last hurrah, I suppose, before we turn all our efforts elsewhere. Does that sound somewhat reasonable? You already know it sounds perfectly fine to me. I just wish you had done it sooner. And why is that? So you weren't so miserable for so long and can move on. Move on. And how would you do that? I'd spend time with someone else. I'd find a hobby. I'd find a hobby? What do you mean you'd find a hobby? Who's going to say that in a romance game? I'll find a hobby or... I wonder... I feel like I overthink way too much in these games, but... If I say I'll find some... I'll spend time with someone else if he thinks that I have someone else to spend time with other than him... I mean, I find the hobby is very unromantic, but I feel like maybe he'll look for someone else if I could just go, I'll find a hobby. Uh, uh, you know, I'll find a hobby. You know, that way it doesn't, I'm as single as possible. I find a hobby, something to get the stress off. You'll need it soon. Perhaps take up an instrument or checkers? Checkers, not chess. My, do you think I'll need prepare my do you think I'll need to prepare for becoming old already mm, that is an interesting idea though oh sorry Cordelian hmm that is an interesting idea though Maybe I'll pick something up in my spare time, if I have any. Of course, it's always easier for to start something new when you have someone by your side. Mm-hmm. Now it's getting more romancy. I'll always be here, no matter what you pick. I thought you knew that. 
Oh, see, see that? See, I was worried that I was like, if I find someone else, I'm like, someone else, not me, is what that sounded like. So, uh, we'll see how my choices go in the next episode. I feel like we're going to come to an end soon. Uh, yeah. I'm Tato Cat. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon. <laughs>